shedding light on the terrorist nature of the Mujahideen Khal organization. Two former members of the terrorist MKO at the press conference in Tehran have elaborated on the terrorist nature of the group, which has a long history of hostility and terrorist attacks against the Iranian nation. Ibrahim Khodabandi and Maryam Sanjabi had been working for the MKO for over 20 years before escaping from the group's camp in Iraq almost 10 years ago. The MKO is not seeking a social position inside the Iranian society, but rather it is only trying to ensure the interests of the U.S. and Israel. The group was initially established on the platform of fighting imperialism three decades ago, but today the group's leaders do not follow this policy anymore, and instead they have become the partners of the U.S. and Israel in carrying out their destructive policies against Iran. The press conference comes only days before the anniversary of the 1981 bombing in Tehran, which killed scores of Iranian officials, including then Prime Minister Mohammad Javad Bahonar and President Mohammad Ali Rajai, who had been elected only three months before. The MKO claimed responsibility for the attack. The MKO doesn't observe human rights at all, even in recruiting its forces. The group doesn't care how old you are. We had a number of children from 7 to 10 years of age who'd been forced to join the group, and indeed they were raised according to the group's plans. The leaders of the group believe that family is the nest of corruption, so they try hard to disrupt family bonds and force them to forget their family members. The Mujahideen Khal organization, which the U.S. removed from the list of its terrorist organizations last year, fled Iran in 1986 for Iraq, where it enjoyed the support of Iraq's executed dictator Saddam Hussein and set up its camp near the Iranian border. The group is notorious for carrying out numerous terrorist acts against Iranian civilians and officials. Since the victory of the Islamic Revolution back in 1979, almost 17,000 Iranians have fallen victim to terrorist attacks, 12,000 of whom have been killed by the terrorist MKO. Even after the execution of Saddam Hussein, the terrorist group still continues its acts of terror against Iranians under the support of certain Western powers. Iranian security sources say the assassination of a number of Iranian scientists is the result of the direct cooperation between MKO and the U.S.-Israeli intelligence services. Last year, the U.S. and Canada joined the EU in removing the MKO from their list of terrorist groups. Iranians were shocked by the decision, as was anyone who favors peace in the Middle East. Given the crimes committed by MKO members, the international bodies should pay attention to the requests of the families who have fallen victim to MKO terrorist activities and bring its members to trial or hand them to our country judiciary. It is unacceptable for the so-called advocates of human rights to turn a blind eye to the countless crimes of the MKO. Countries which have removed the name of MKO from the list of tourist organizations are indeed helping MKO in its tourist activities against the Iranian nation, and it is a double standard policy. Since its establishment, the Islamic Republic of Iran has been targeted by different terrorist groups inside the country that, according to experts, has made it the prime victim of terrorism in the world. Salman Kujuri, Press TV, Tehran.